Hello, everybody. Welcome to Your Music Sucks. I am Brian Boat, and that is my good buddy Craig Gass from Sex and City and the Howard Stern Show and other stuff. How are you, Craig? I'm doing good, Brian. How are you? I'm doing good. I uh, I went to a dispensary today, and yeah. I saw that they had a weed named Rob Grunkushki, so I got it, and then... Uh, I said, oh, Heisman, that's like football, and Rob Gronkowski, you know, is a football. And the guy goes, it is a football player. My bud tender goes, he is a football player. Uh, the guy that cultivates this is also a football player. His name is Ricky Williams, and he grows marijuana. I, and he goes, have you ever heard of Ricky Williams? I'm like, I'm wearing a fucking Miami Dolphin shirt. Dolphins. Yes, there's no fucking Ricky Williams. Wow. So, yeah, no I bought a shit. bunch of Ricky Williams weed today. So I smoked a little bit of, uh, I had Rob Grun, uh, Grunk, Grunkushki. I had Julian Edelmintz and uh, Drew Budso. Uh, and I <laughs> there's another one in there, too. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Did you do it because when I sent you the song that I sent you today, I recommended it you get high while you listen to it? Uh, Craig, I was going to get high when I listened to your song, regardless of instructions. <laughs> uh, that's just what I do to get through this. <laughs> well, sounds like you're off to a good day. I am surprised at the news that's coming out on, on Twitter. There's been some stories coming out. A really questionable guy. Rob Schneider is calling someone an asshole. And I say that because Rob Schneider had one of the biggest asshole moments I've ever experienced. He really, and I'm so glad I had a witness for this. Did I ever introduce you to Jamie Josta? Do you know who Jamie Josta is? No, I feel like that is one name I would remember. All right. Uh, yeah, I guess uh, Jamie's never been to one of our shows together. So Jamie Josta is the singer of this band, Hate breed and uh, really nice guy who lives in Connecticut. Really um, great name too. Like he, I feel like he has a name where you have to say his first and last name every time you say it. Yeah. Jamie Justa. <laughs> yeah. He does have a great name. He was. I called him up when I had an extra ticket to go see Adam Sandler, Rob Schneider, David Spade, and um, uh, Nick Swartzen in Connecticut at Mohegan Sun. And I said, Hey. Um, uh, I got an extra ticket. He goes, yeah, let's go. So we go, and then we end up hanging out with Nick Swartzen after his set. And at some point, Spade and Schneider come into the green room, or into Nick's dressing room. And I know Spade. I've met him a few times. He's a, he's a huge Howard Stern fan. He's been in a couple Stern events. Schneider I met once when he snapped on one of my radio friends which is a whole other story. But in this moment in the dressing room, we're all hanging out. We're talking. It's a bunch of comedians. And Jamie's like, wow, this is great. He's really excited. It's like all comics being funny together and, and you know, some legends. And they, Schneider starts to leave. And I realized, oh, man, you know what? Hey, Rob. Hey, do you mind if we uh, take a quick picture here of like a group shot? And he goes, yeah, yeah. He turns around. And granted, I will say, I had the slowest delivery when I said this. And, and this might even rub you the wrong way, Brian, because sometimes after shows you have interactions with people where you go, you try to cut off shit. But when he turned around, I said, is it okay if we do a, a, a funny, um, and <laughs> that's, it just started stuttering. And what I like to do is I like to do a new band photo is, is what I like to do with people I take pictures with, which is everybody looking in a different direction. Like we're in a brand new band. Like everyone's just, everybody's yeah, like, it's, an your alternative thing. Band. it's what you like. It's my do. thing. It's I do thing. it. I do it. Musicians and actors and comedians. It's just a funny thing that I do. And I have a whole collection of new band photos on my social media. And Rob turns around, Schneider starts walking towards me. And I said, Hey, um, do you mind if we do a, a thing um, like a, like do a funny we'll make, and he goes no god damn just take the fucking photo man don't fucking <laughs> try it. don't try to be fucking funny just take the fucking photo and then he he comes in and it's me Spade Swartzen <laughs> Jamie Jossa. wait uh, a minute did Rob know you were a comic at when you said this yeah because uh, as soon as I walked in oh no I'm sorry as soon as Schneider walked in 
uh, Swartzen goes, uh, hey, this is Jamie Jossie. He's a singer of Hate Breed. And this is Craig Gass. Craig's a stand-up. And he goes, oh, okay, cool. And I'm glad you asked that question because this comes back around. So Schneider walks out. He's, he starts walking towards us, uh, takes a picture, and he's yelling. He's like, God damn, just fucking people are like, oh, let's do something funny. Like, like nobody's happy just taking a goddamn picture. Like, just take a fucking picture. And then we smile. We take the picture, and he goes, God damn. I mean, it's fucking like, like, you can't just take a picture and just be like, and that's okay. <laughs> you have to be funny about it. Like, oh, let's do something funny. Uh, and he starts walking out the door, and he just keeps yelling, keeps yelling, walks out, opens the door back up, and goes, and you're a comedian. You should know better. Slam. Boy, sounds like a real douche Bigelow. <laughs> so uh, Jamie happened to be booked on the Jim and Sam show on Sirius XM like a couple days later where he told the story. And uh, what was the word that he used? Like right in that moment when Schneider was yelling and he walked out the door, he goes, uh, Man, Schneider's. Did he call him testy or did he call him? Um, he had some funny word, but he retold the story on Jim and Sam. So I'm seeing that Schneider is trending because he did an interview on Jim and Sam, actually, coincidentally, where he said that Bill Murray is the biggest dick on the planet. And there are a lot of people that have that story about Schneider. In fact, I'm not going to say his name because I don't know if he wants to be involved or not. But someone I know who is really close to Schneider, when Schneider yelled at me, I texted that guy. That was the first thing I did. I texted a buddy of mine in L.A. and I said, holy shit, I just ran into Rob Schneider. And without even hearing the story, my buddy goes, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> See? Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. He's Schneider. Reckless. He's reckless. Uh, he is yeah. aggressive. He's testy. He's really and and he's known for having a temper. And he said that Bill Murray has a really bad temper, and Bill Murray's an asshole. And it's turned into this whole thing on Twitter where people are are um, talking about. I guess Seth Green has a story about how Bill Murray, when Seth Green was a child actor, that Bill Murray was upset that Seth Green was trying to sit in his chair. And he physically picked Seth Green up and held him over a garbage can. I think he put him in a garbage can. <laughs> so all that is like, all right, all right, whatever. And then today there is a video that's trending. <laughs> I can't and, get over that Bill Murray hanging a kid over a garbage can. And then I think he dropped him in the garbage can. I think he actually I'll dropped rip that. Him. These kids need to learn. You just don't sit in the seat. It has somebody's fucking name on it. Get, get your ass out the fucking seat. Law and well, order. Make America now, America. now there's this video that just came out, and it looks like the Arsenio Hall show. Tom, I sent you the clip. Check out this video clip of Bill Murray with Gina Davis, and it looks like the Arsenio Hall show. Tom, can you roll that? Yeah. <laughs> It's the cringeworthy, long-forgotten TV appearance in which Bill Murray can't keep his hands off Gina Davis. And it's shedding new light on the actress's claims about Murray's behavior when she auditioned for a movie role in a hotel suite. It was a lot like this, in fact, yeah. Really? Uh -huh. He touched you a lot in the audition? Yeah. Are you serious? No, I swear. I swear, the first, yeah. The first thing he did was like, take my shirt out of my pants and start tickling my stomach. Davis also spoke about Murray insisting on using a massage device during the audition. It's called the thumper. The thumper. <laughs> and he says, you should try this. I'm going to massage your back with this thing. And I'm like, I'm thinking, no way. You know, this is this. Oh, excuse me. The shocking appearance took place in 1990 on the Arsenio Hall show. Man, 1990 seemed to be a really good year, man. Arsenio Hall was still on the air and living color. And you could grope Gina Davis on national TV and nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> oh, a crazy... if I had a time machine, I'd go back to 1990. That I've never seen that clip before. That is a crazy, crazy clip. It's a crazy clip. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was really surprised, but especially when he starts to pull down her spaghetti strap, I was like, oh man. Mm. Ooh, that's uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah man. Nineteen ninety. 
1990. Good time, apparently. OJ uh, anyway. Simpson was doing NFL commentary. Right? <laughs> naked gun movies. He was naked a lovable. Gun movies. lovable Three actor. naked gun movies. Oh, yeah. to go back to 1990. <laughs> well, the whole point of Your Music Sucks is that Brian and I are best friends. We love each other. We love hanging out with each other. And we actually will tour together around the country doing our comedy shows. And the only thing we don't see eye to eye on is music. So once a week, we send each other one of our favorite songs, and the other person critiques it. This week, I sent you an Iron Maiden song, and you sent me a Mo song, a, a song by the band Mo. Dot. Ah, Mo. M Mo. Dot. I feel like I should always say Mo. Dot. Mo. Period. Mo. 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 Period. And I want you to start because, and I might be setting myself up for disaster. When I send you a song, I always send you a song where I'll be like. Uh, uh, I'm curious to see what he thinks of this. Uh, oh, fuck, I love this song. I wonder what Brian's going to think of this. Like, I don't really have any thought where I want to give you something that I think you will like. I hope I'm not wrong. I really think that this song, when I thought about it and the chord changes, and I feel like there's like a little bit of a jam in this, I really felt like, oh, man, you know what? I'll bet Brian would love this song. So I sent you a song by Iron Maiden. Uh, was it Hollowed? Uh, it's yeah, hollowed ground on hollowed, hollowed by name. Yeah, okay. So, Brian, what'd you think of the Iron Maiden song that I sang? Hollowed be thy name. Hollowed be thy name. First minute and a half, complete trash. Uh, <laughs> just complete trash. I listened to this and I said, What the fuck is going on? Yeah. Uh, and then at one minute and five seconds, uh, motherfucker starts singing about a dude in the gallows hanging. Like he's about to hang and he's he's in the gallows. Like the first verse about a dude in the gallows. When that music picked up, it fucked my face, Craig. I was hooked when it picked up. I'm telling okay. you. When you started one... talking about the... Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, oh, I can, I can do this. I can fucking do this. I can do I this. I knew it. As a matter of fact, so I started listening to it. I took a shower, right? It's like a seven and a half minute song you sent me. And at, and I'll tell you what, 45 seconds in, I was saying to myself, I'm, I'm, I, I don't know if I could do this. Yeah. But once that minute five hit and that song picked up, I'm like, oh, I could fuck with this for another six minutes. And I did. So much so, I didn't even really, like, listen I didn't break down the lyrics just about this dude fucking sitting in a cell waiting to die. Mm -hmm. And he's come to grips with it. He doesn't give a fuck about it. Mm -hmm. And he's singing this power ballad that has a, has a very hefty jam in it. Right. Yeah. It's not overloaded with anything. Yeah. Uh, I fucking really like this, man. I even put a heart on it on the fucking thing on my fucking Spotify. Really? I even put a heart on my spot. This is a solid five. I'll give this song a five. I knew it. I I'll give the it. first minute from five seconds a negative two, but okay. the rest of it is a five. That makes this song like a seven. Wow. I knew it. Yeah. It's like a whole jam. Like I really, I was thinking of what metal songs I was going to sing. And for some reason, I just thought of that song and it's the jammy part of it that I thought you would really like. I knew you would fucking like it. Well, Brian, you sent me a song by Mo and uh, it's a song called Rebubula, Rebubula. <laughs> Rebubla. Rebubla? Is that how you pronounce it? Do you even know how to pronounce it? Rebubla? 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 It says it in the song. I can only say it if I hear the song. <laughs> well, so you had a couple things working against you, Brian. I went to a six and a half hour baseball game yesterday in Seattle. That is a long game, my friend. An 18-inning game between the Mariners and the Astros. After that, I drive 100 miles up north to the city of Bellingham, town of Bellingham. It's like a big college town. And I did a show in Bellingham last night. Then I drove down to SeaTac Airport afterwards and got on a 6 a.m. flight to Phoenix and I got my car in Phoenix and I started driving back home to Vegas. And uh, and then I put this song on. I was not in the mood for whatever it was you sent me. 
I don't know if I would feel better about this if I was more well rested, but I did not like this song, Brian. It was <laughs> first of all, the first thing I see is that it's like what, like a nine minute song? No, it's eleven. <laughs> nine it's eleven. It's an eleven. Nine minute eleven. Song. It's nine eleven. It's my own nine eleven. <laughs> you sent me. Uh, and then you sent me a note like, "Listen to this in the car." Yeah, hey, listen. You said you were driving. I'm like, "Hey, this is a pretty good song. Like, there's time for Craig to just lean into ten minutes of mo. Today's the day, baby." I didn't, no, I didn't even know that, that you though. had. I didn't know that you had a fucking take a train and a plane and a fucking ride an ostrich and yeah. and fucking do a horse and buggy. Uh, I don't know you're doing all that. If you're doing all that, I would have said something way different. <laughs> yeah, I, I really, I really wasn't in the mood. So there's a couple of things. First of all, the YouTube video of this song, Rebubla, Rebubla, whatever you're calling it. The, you know how in YouTube videos, it'll say, uh, this is the most replayed part right here. It'll have like a little thing and you'll it'll say most replayed part. You ever notice that about YouTube videos? No. This is the first time I've ever seen it where the most replayed part is just the first three seconds. So that, or no, first 10 seconds. That's either people going, is that all I fucking heard? And they just keep replaying it. Or it's people like you just jizzing on themselves and replaying that song over and over and over again. Oh, but man, I think, it's, I think it's jizz. I smell jizz, Craig. It's a long, <laughs> long jam song. And the lyrics are, I can't be bothered with the natural fact. I'm her slave and I can't look back. Oh, no, wait, wait, wait. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. I'm her slave. I can't look back. She's the queen of the briny deep rebubbla across the sea. Just like Sinbad, I sailed my vessel true, fled like Popeye from the island of the goon. Is there an yeah. island of the goon? Is he just making shit up? No, Popeye fucking escaped from the island of the goon. Did this, he? Is, real, this is facts. <laughs> Tell her the song. <laughs> well, it lured me off course. I think it came off the ocean. It's a long, long song. The lyrics are just like, they just went over my head. Then the song starts slowing down at like six, seven, eight minutes. It starts slowing down to where they just go, all right, you know what? The song's over. And they just start, it just winds down to like, do, 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 and then it starts building up again. And they get back into it. And I was just, I was numb. I was completely ah, numb. Ah. And here's the crazy thing. I'm numb. I've got this look on my face. <sighs> and that's when I hear the chorus. I really hear the chorus for the first time. Rip off all my limbs, poke out poke both out my, eyes, my eyes, pull on my swollen tongue. And I was like, yes, yes. <sighs> Rip off my limbs, poke out both my eyes. I'm sick of this shit. Just fucking kill me now. Yeah. It's a song about me needing to be put out of my misery. Yeah. So, just, Craig, I, on a scale of one to five. Uh... <laughs> unfortunately, Ryan, I, I I was confused by the lyrics. It was too long of a jam. and uh, But because the chorus really seemed to speak to me, I felt like the band intentionally tortured me and threw out that chorus of rip off my limbs and poke out my eyes. And I was like, this song's about me. I'm going to give it a two. Well, all right. I I'll take it a two on that. I'll so take it two I'll on that. It, I, think the, I think the mind frame you listen to the music alters how you hear it. Like, I was listening I to your song. I was taking a shower. I was high. I was in my fucking glory. It was great. Yeah. I was I was really, you know, just, just soaking it in. And and you were already miserable. And then, Yeah. <laughs> and then... Yeah, it's like poking the bear at that point. Although I will say, I don't know if it's more entertaining uh, that if if I send you songs that you hate or that you love, because they both I get equally excited. Uh, it's just a different different type of excitement, you know. Like I thoroughly enjoyed you breaking down the song that you hated. Yeah, you didn't know what kind of a day I had had. I think you might have suspected that I was at the baseball game last night in Seattle. But uh, but you didn't know how long of a day I had after that doing the show and then and then having to go to the airport, fly to Phoenix, get my car, drive back up to Vegas. And yeah, it was it honestly, was this is the kind of day I thought you were having, like you're going to wake up, you know, go to a Starbucks, 
drive from Phoenix to, to to Las Vegas. How long is that that drive, by the way? How long is it again? It's a four hour drive. Four, four hour four, drive. Four, yeah, about four hours. And you know what? I had a three and a half hour ride today, and 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 I'm like, you know what? Maybe we're just having a similar day. We're just relaxed, driving on the road, not a care in the world. You know, just wide eyed and bushy tailed. You know, and I'm like, I'm gonna send Craig a song. He can just really just relax and listen to. Um, I don't know what made you want to poke out your eyes and rip off your lips. I think it was just the monotony of the song, the monotony of the jam, and the lyrics, uh, Popeye being from the Island of Goon. I was like, that's not right. And then apparently it is. All right. So to anyone who's a Popeye fan, it's I'm not sorry. Like but apparently that is a fact that Popeye is from the Island of Goon. But Brian, where do people find you on the road? Go, go to IllinoisCockburn.com. IllinoisCockburn.com. Exactly as it sounds. IllinoisCockburn.com. I will be in LA at Cruise Fest at the end of October. And then where am I at? Uh, I know that Brian and I are going to be in Green Bay together in January. All that info is at getgas.com. Get gas with two S's.com. Part of the Where Have You Been tour. And Brian, your music really sucks today, man. Somebody came up to me at my show last night, Bellingham, and said, hey, man, uh, really enjoyed the show. And tell Brian his music sucks. And I was like, oh. Tell that motherfucker his music sucks. And he fucks yeah. his cousin. Yeah, I will. <laughs> I, will. I will go back to Bellingham and find Actually, that. Actually, if he's a loyal fan, I thank you for listening. Um, <laughs> Even though you fuck your cousin. Even though you fuck your cousin. That's oh, a game. Right. right? If it happens in Game of Thrones, it's applauded. But it happens in Alabama, people shame it, you know? So, Brian, after everything you heard today, who's the bigger dick? Rob Schneider or Bill Murray? Ooh, man. I'm going to go with Rob Schneider because I've heard stories about Rob Schneider, too. It's weird that Rob's the guy to bring it out. It's really, really weird. Anyways, Brian, your music sucks, but I love you. I love you, too, man.